Hey guys, fishing and stuff. Today, we're gonna talk about the best baits to help you catch big catfish. So, let's get into it. There's a lot of great catfish baits out there that work really good. I don't care what you say, nothing beats hot dogs, Soaked in cherry Kool-Aid. Yeah, those baits work good too, but we're gonna focus on baits that catch bigger fish. And to catch bigger fish, we need to use what the bigger fish eat. The first bait on the list has got to be shad. Shad are readily available at almost any big water lake and make great catfish bait. Also, if you ain't catching nothing, you can make a sandwich out of shad. And don't knock it till you try it. Uh, shad hamburger or shad hot dog or shad soup. That's even good. I, North Carolina in particular, where I live, there's six different species of shad. This species in particular that I'm using on this trip was gizzard shad. But there's American shad, gizzard shad. There's a lot of shad that get really big. The best part about shad is you can catch them with a cast net. In some states, you can use a gill net, but not in my state. I always check your laws and regulations before you're using a cast net or a gill net, or as far as that goes, any type of fish you use for bait. Make sure it's okay to do it. The reason shad makes such a great catfish bait is because they're very oily and catfish tend to love them. The oil, the fish oils are good for my skin. Carp is also an oily fish that makes great catfish bait. But again, you wanna check your local laws and regulations before using them. I prefer gizzard shad if I can get them, but being a plankton feeder, about the only way to catch them is with a cast net. And they're very capable of catching big catfish. Catfish bait. Number two, brim are one of my personal favorites. And just in case you don't know what a brim is, it's a bluegill, shell cracker, war mouth, pumpkin seed, red breasted sunfish, red eared sunfish. Heck, it's all of them. You can look it up on Google, it'll tell you. And there's actually two ways to say it brim and bream. Brim is not a species, it's a category and they all in it. And I know somebody will be in the comment section arguing, it's a shell cracker. It's a brim, dude. It's a war mouth. It's a brim. It's a bluegill. It's a brim. But look, no matter what you call them, call them good bait because they are. One reason brim are good bait is because they're one of the easiest fish to keep alive. I got a DIY about a portable bait well I make and I keep brim in them. Number two, they're easy to catch, especially in the warmer months. It doesn't take a lot of skill to catch brim. In your face, loser. Number three, you can catch them anywhere, not just the big water lakes, you can catch them in the little lakes. One of the things I like to do is go to a lake that's near my house. I go down there and catch a bunch of brim and then I can go fishing that night or the next morning and I got my bait with me already. But check your local laws and regulations because some states can't use brim for bait. In North Carolina, we can catch and use brim, which are bluegill, shell crackers, war mouse, you know what I mean. But we can't catch them with a cast net. If you catch brim with a cast net, you have to throw them back in because they're considered a game fish. And in the rules and regulations of North Carolina, game fish can't be taken with a cast net. Another good thing about brim is you can use them for cut bait. You can cut them up and use them in chunks to fish with. Or the best thing about brim is they're very tough. If you just stick a hook behind their dorsal fin, they'll stay alive for hours and hours and then make great bait for flathead. The third catfish bait for me has to be white perch. All states may not have white perch, but in our area, they're very available in big water. White perch grow fast and multiply fast, and they're very aggressive fish, so they're easy to catch with a hook. They make great catfish bait. You can use them alive just like brim, or you can use them as cut bait. There's a lot of big blues been caught on white perch around here. The only reason I drink brim a little higher than white perch is because you can catch brim in any body of water. You can catch white perch in any large body of water. I always check your local laws, but in our area, one great thing about white perch 
is even though they're game fish, you can catch them with a cast net because they're very evasive and they populate so fast. The fourth bait on my catfish bait list would have to go to crappy. Some people call them crappy. Some people call them crappy. Let's don't even get into that. Here you go, man. It's a little old fish. Put a hook in his back. Throw him in the water. That's all that matters. But whatever you call them, they make great catfish bait. Again, check your own laws and regulations before using them. But in North Carolina, we can use crappy as long as they're legal size, which is eight inches in most lakes. But you have to keep the carcass intact. So if the game one comes up, he can still measure the fish. So don't cut their heads off and use them. You can fillet them if you live in North Carolina and use it. Just keep the carcass. You also can't catch crappy in a cast net. So if you catch crappy in a cast net, it's a game fish, throw it back in the water or you stand a chance of getting in trouble. If it's dark, you can use a light like I like to do. I got a video that shows you how to make a light. Most of the time when I'm catfishing, as soon as I catch a crappy, I'm going to fillet one and throw out some catfish rods. That tactic works great because then you can catch two species of fish at the same time. Number five on my catfish bait list, it's gotta be skipjack. And I know what you're thinking, and don't get me wrong, most people's catfish bait list, skipjack's gonna be number one or number two. The reason it made number five on my list is because we can't get it around here. The only way we get to use skipjack is if it's frozen. But skipjack's in the heron family and it makes great catfish bait if you can get it. Look guys, fresh skipjack's always gonna be your best option, but if you can't get it, frozen skipjack works great too. Look at it this way, at least you didn't have to kill it yourself, just like Epstein didn't kill himself. Just saying. Patriot James, another YouTube channel, he hosts a YouTuber catfish tournament every year. Everybody in the tournament has to have a YouTube channel and then last year's tournament, me and a buddy of mine, David Buff, got second place. Well, the reason I'm telling you is because we was using Skipjack, and Skipjack's not even native to our water. But if you can get Skipjack, use it. The best way to use any type of bait is fresh. So it didn't make the top of my list, but it's still great bait. The number six bait on my catfish bait list is chicken. <laughs> Don't tell nobody, but I use chicken livers. No, I'm not talking about chicken livers, which is good bait, but I'm talking about chicken breast. What I like to do is when my wife's grocery shopping and I'm with her, I'll go back, look at the chicken. There's usually some chicken marked down because it's gonna go bad. There's nothing wrong with it, it's just almost out of date. I cut it up in one or two inch square cubes. Sometimes I use big pieces, so if I wanna use a big piece of bait. But after I cut it up, I put it in Ziploc bags. Most people put powdered garlic on it, which which is great, but I do something a little bit different. I buy minced garlic. The only reason I get minced garlic is because it's garlic packed in oil. And as most of you know, water doesn't penetrate oil as fast. So I feel like it stays on the bait longer. After you put it in your bag, put you some in there and kind of mix it up. I get the air out of the bag, zip it, and then I throw it in the freezer. Then when I'm going fishing, I can take a bag with me just in case I can't catch bait. And don't get me wrong, it's not just a good backup bait. There's some days where chicken outperforms cut bait. It don't happen very often, but it happens. There's a lot of other good baits out there, but these are the six I prefer to catch big fish. I'd like to give a special thanks and shout out to Clarence Tuttle Spud, AKA Matthew Miles, for helping me with this video. For those of you that don't already know, Matthew Miles owns the Catfish Clothing brand. He also has a YouTube channel he started called Clarence Tuttle Spud. If you want to hear more tips from me, Clarence Tuttle Spud, go check out my YouTube channel. It's a lot better than that Dieter Melhorn, guys. And I'll leave a link to it and his website in the description box below. Go check him out. And if you've never been on the channel, Go check out my other DIYs because I got a bunch of them. And I'll see you next time.